For me, the most important things to consider in your hair colour choice would be suitability and wearability. Uh, the consultation is a really good time to kind of get to know as much as you can about that person. Is she quite shy or is she outgoing? Is she kind of recently gone through a big change in her life and she wants to kind of accentuate on that? The attributes of colour perfection would be kind of beautiful, luxurious, long, shiny, healthy looking hair. It's having that evenness of colour from root to tip uh, without any areas that look slightly more muddied in a way. Um, it's all about kind of creating an expensive kind of look and that really requires healthy, strong hair. So my top tips for really stop the colour from fading is to use a, a kind of colour-based shampoo. So something obviously in the Kerastas range like the Reflections would be a really kind of great way to start with this. You've also really got to consider condition. If your hair is in good condition, it's going to kind of maintain colour better. Going in the sun can really be quite a strong kind of way of fading your colour very fast. So kind of think about where you're going to be going, covering up maybe in the sun a bit more. Like you would with your skin, you need to kind of think about your hair the same. If you're swimming a lot as well, it's a really good idea to kind of wet the hair down first and kind of use a conditioning product before going in the pool. That's going to stop that chlorine from going into the hair and hardening, which is going to cause a lot of colour fadage. Colour correction is all about sometimes neutralisation. So if we look at the, the colour wheel, uh, what that's doing is opposing colours will always neutralise each other out. So the day that you leave the salon, the hair is going to look great, the colour is going to look super healthy and it's going to be really vivid. But around the third week, it's going to kind of start to lose its kind of impact a little. So a great way of keeping this looking good at home is to use the Touche Chromatic range. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the bowl for the mixing and we're going to add in up until the line with our mask. And once we've done that, we're going to then add in 10 droplets of our given shade. We're going to mix them in together in the bowl till it's really even and then we're going to start from the ends of our hair and we're going to just work that up. We're not going to take it right up to the roots but we're just going to work it more through those mid lengths and ends. So once that's on we're going to leave for five minutes and then we're going to rinse and that's going to really help to keep your hair looking really nice and fresh.